Well, it was uh, the game was certainly in doubt until late. And, um, I don't know if uh, didn't have the energy that we normally have when we <laughs> came down to the stadium today. But sometimes, sometimes when you over the course of a long season and on the heels of an emotional weekend, you could be a little bit. I don't like to use the word flat, but we just didn't have the normal bounce that we usually have. And on top of that, that kid uh, Perez pitched pretty well against us and changed speeds, pitched in a little bit, and kind of same recipe the kid from Presbyterian had and kind of tied us up a little bit. So, uh, But all in all, um, it was neat the way we won the game. I was certainly proud of Weber. He's one of the best kids I've, I think I've ever coached. He's works extremely hard. He's not necessarily blessed with the most talent in the world, but he got a game-winning hit for us there. And, and then a little elementary base running play enabled Joey to score the winning run there on a tag up on a ball behind the plate. So, um, you know, played okay. Offensively, we weren't all there, and um, but we found a way to win and got a win on days when you're not your best. And I don't think we were our best today, but um, found a way to win anyway. Coach, can you talk about your bullpen's uh, performance there? Obviously, you know, we were able to sort of go in there and, and hold the uh, the door shut until you were able to come back. Yeah, I, I was, you know, Hunter kept them at bay, and, and Vince was very, very good. And Cody and Joel just did what Cody and Joel's done all year. Um, the, uh, as I've said, I think the bullpen's the strength of our team, and and they continue to to show that. We were going to put Taylor Widener in the game, too, in a tight situation because we love the way that he threw yesterday and that way he's been throwing. We think he can – even help Cody and Joel even more, uh, you know, give them some time, some rest, some days off, and, you know, so we don't have to pitch them to death. And um, so I'm excited about what Taylor's been doing. So, again, our bullpen is uh, one of the strengths of our team, and, and they came in and did what they've done all season. And um, Max Rock, what's, uh, what's his uh, status? Max is, uh, we'll know a little bit more tomorrow. I doubt very seriously that he'll be available for the weekend. Um, ankle. Ankle. Uh, and he rolled his ankle. On the bag, well, we will get x-rays tomorrow. Uh, it's a little bit, it wasn't one of those sprains, it was one of those sprains. It was an in, inside, oh, she's right, huh? I don't know. They're all the same for me. Um, but he, uh, yeah, he rolled his ankle. He'll probably be out this weekend. Um, I'll keep my fingers crossed we can get him back next week. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. Hopefully we'll get good news on the x-ray tomorrow. And, um, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm going to do a couple of things there. DC will be in there, obviously, but uh, I might, I might, uh, might tinker with playing Joey Pancake over at second and, and putting DC. DC's gotten comfortable at third, and um, I don't know. And, and, and Joey's been a little bit, you know, he, his arm's been a little bit sore while the weather's so cold, and uh, I kind of want to protect Joey too. So we'll see. Uh, both of those guys. One of the things I like about our infield is we got a few shortstops on our roster, and and I can move Connor Bright in there too, and he he can play second base fine. So we have a little bit of depth there, and uh, um, but right now as I sit here, it happens so quick. I don't know what I'm going to do, but uh, DC's a good middle infielder. Joey Joey can play second base, and 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 Connor can too. So. Um, I'll give that thought tonight. We'll practice some and we'll make a decision. We'll probably play a number of different combinations over the weekend.